Yeah, Graham Elliott might be top notch, but for me, there's only one top chef. And when she told me I needed to check out a Vietnamese spot in Pilsen, you bet I followed her like a little goat. A lot of people remember you like shooting to prominence from Top Chef. We here in Chicago were very attached to you because you represented us, basically. Chicago's been so supportive of me throughout my entire career. All of the chefs here and the people that support all of our restaurants just want it to be the best food city in the country, and it is the best food city in the country. For our special 300th episode, you chose a Vietnamese restaurant. Because it's one of my favorite restaurants in the city. I think the flavors here are exactly why I love being a chef. Order fire, papaya, squid, ribeye, order fire. What's the dish that Chef and I should make for you today? <laughs> She's forgotten. What was it called? Mm -hmm. Cha. Phun Cha Hanoi. Phun Cha Hanoi. This dish really represents Vietnamese cooking, where you build flavor upon flavor upon flavor, and when you take a bite, there's just a, a burst of flavors. So it's so a complex, layered, classic Vietnamese dish. Yes. Have you seen the show before? That's a lot for you. Stephanie Isaac thinks you're the best place to eat in Chicago. Oh, Full stop. I'm so super honored. That the is best. A, that is awesome. She that loves awesome. you guys. Do, do you know who loves me? Who? Like my mom, and that's it. <laughs> what makes this dish amazing is the nam. Nam is fried egg roll. And so this is ground pork, fresh Thai chili, dry chili, scallion, garlic. So just like the rest of Vietnamese food, there's no flavors in there yeah, at all. None at all. <laughs> Keep it tight, yep. It's just like two dudes in college. <laughs> rolling yeah. some stuff up. It's like seeing my firstborn children off into the water. If I was to father mermaids. Merman! So I'm just taming. Chef's here fanning the flames. Yep. So Vietnamese, we call this lò đất. Lò đất. There you go, perfect. I can mimic like any parrot can. Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna take your shoulder, and then this is the pork patty. Put it right on the grill. And if it gets too intense, look, you can pull it aside or you can lift it up. Are you doing an infomercial for one of these right now? <laughs> so we're putting it in here for a swim. Correct. And voila, it starts to simmer. There's nothing it can't do. Call him right now. There are only a few left. Nice broth, right? We're going to season it, and then we're adding more flavor with all these accoutrements. We're just a, a depth charge of yeah. flavor. So we have Vietnamese herbs. Tia to. Say it. Say it again. Tia <laughs> to. Perfect. So these are the herbs that is so classic Vietnamese. You're killing me, Thai. And then we pile this right in here. This is Buncha Hanoi, Thai Su style. And this is Elliot leaving the kitchen because he and Stephanie <laughs> are starving. I'm so excited. Please start first. So I think the reason that I love this dish so much is because it's interactive and you kind of get down and dirty and just kind of do whatever it is that you want. Granted, you'll see people that probably don't want to get all in there. I saw a guest kind of cutting an olive with their knife and fork at Girl and Goat once. I was like, just pick the olive up. <laughs> All the different flavors from the broth, because I'm dipping my little roll that's all crunchy and the noodles in my leaf into the broth. My God, that broth. Those aromatic flavors, it pings your taste buds all over. It's like a pinball machine, and that's just the broth. This is like how I want to cook if I'm having friends over to my house, and that's how you want people to feel in a restaurant. If I ever come over to your house, which I'm sure she, Stephanie's bound to invite me at the end of this meal, <laughs> I want you to just serve me an olive with a knife and fork. See what you do with that? That's it. all I want.